Okay, come to seated. So you can either kneel, cross your legs, sit up against a wall. And then once you guys are seated, come into that place where you can feel your sit bones reach down. So it might mean that you need to lean back a little bit to get that to happen. And then from that place where your sit bones reach down, rather than trying to like really actively lengthen your spine, just let it like lightly lift. Feel that this sense that your spine is upright from an internal place. Take a breath in through your nose. Exhale out through your mouth. Next breath, breathe in through the crown of your head and run your breath all the way down your spine. You get to the very base of your spine, hold your inhale for a moment. And then as you exhale, feel your breath move all the way back up your spine. So we go again, the breath comes in from the crown of the head, down the back of the neck upper back, mid back, low back, all the way to the tailbone. Pause there. And then exhale, feel your breath move all the way back up. The low, mid, upper back, up through the back of your neck, back of your head. Let's keep going with that breath. What I want you guys to do is feel for less broken parts. So the inhale leads into the exhale and the exhale into the inhale. It's like you're looping your breath around your spine. Keep breathing in this way as you listen to our intent for today. Our focus is Svadhyaya, which is self-study. It's a massive topic, so I've narrowed it down a little bit. What we'll be working with today is how we show up on our mat with certain expectations and demands. So whether that's an expectation on ourselves, our body, our teachers, whatever it is. What happens when we show up with expectations and demands is we miss an opportunity to actually accept what's really here. What that means is the reality that we're creating is not true to what is actually presenting in our body. And there's a disconnect. Take a few more breaths as you breathe that in. Just let it land. One thing I do want to say is acceptance is not always about what we can't do. It's also about realizing what we can. So be open to that today. Yeah. Open your eyes. Come down into Baddha Konasana, soles of your feet together, heels away from your groin. Take your hands behind so they're on the floor and lift your chest up so your collarbones spread. We'll do three rounds of Adhyana. We'll do the first one together. So let's take an inhale together, a full exhale. Inhale for up to 10.
Hold your breath at the top for up to 10 as you continue to lift your chest, spread through your collarbones. But see if you can relax your belly even though you're holding your breath in. When you can't hold your breath anymore, come forward as you exhale, hands to the floor or your shins. Once all of your breath is out, hold your breath out, pull your belly in and create like a suction. So as you press through your palms, your traction in your spine forward, chin is tucked in, you're holding your breath out, your belly's drawn in. Feel like this lengthening through the spine as you continue to contract the navel. And then when you do need to breathe, relax your belly first, then come up and do two more rounds. So as you inhale, hands behind. Use this work, this, this preliminary pranayama to get really connected into feeling. What it does is anchors our mind into the navel, which is where usually all the action is. So maybe this time as you hold your breath in and you traction your spine forward, you're, you put your mind into your navel. And again, when you need to breathe, do one more round. Maybe on this final round, as you hold your breath out and your belly in, you might even start to slowly move your ribs from side to side. Just get this sense of feeling for where Udiana tugs on you internally. And then when you need to breathe, come all the way up as you inhale. And set up for seated side bend. So left leg is out, right leg is in. Take your left hand inside or outside your left leg and exhale, right arm over. Relax your left ear to left shoulder. Separate your back teeth. And then as you breathe, see your breath move in between each bone of your right rib cage. Start to get really meticulous with your breath, like you're consciously placing your breath into the side of your body. And notice there'll be parts of the rib that do expand quite easily. And then there'll be areas of the right rib cage that feel less expansive today. Rather than trying to do anything about that, just feel into the, the contrast of open and close. Half bind, take your right arm behind, grab either your leggings or the top of your left thigh. Inhale, lift up to your chest, so get your sternum away from your navel. Feel like you're leaning back onto your sit bones actually and then let your neck go. So we're not too worried again about the depth of the side bend but more so that the front of your body is, is open. And then start to feel for softening around your eyes. So notice if there's this real intense attitude. We can still go really deep without needing the struggle part. And then from there, reach your right arm into neck release. Keep your neck relaxed. And then as you inhale, bring your body up. Use your left hand to help your head up. Feel that spaciousness between the bottom of your right ear and the top of your right shoulder. 
and then change sides. Right leg out, left foot in. I don't mind, right hand can go inside or outside your right leg and then take your left arm over. So same thing, we wanna still feel connected through sit bones still feeling for lifting through chest and then notice in the neck so again that working to relax basically from the inner left ear all the way down to left armpit check in again with your face like notice where this tension creeps in you know, and by, by continuously retraining our body to, to ungrip, something in the way that we approach other aspects of our life ungrips. Half bind, take your left arm behind, grab either your leggings or your thigh. And again, this time bring a bit of awareness to your right foot, spread out to your toes. Inhale, lift up to your chest again, sit back onto your sit bones, and then let your neck go. Wash your breath through the whole left side of your neck and up into the upper left side of the chest, like up around the collarbone, shoulder head. And then from there, left arm out to the left. Use that arm to bring your body up. Keep your neck relaxed. Use your right hand. Ease your head up. Alrighty, come down onto your back. Pad yourself with a blanket if the, the earth is too hard for your body. Or if you've got lower back things going on, that's a really good option. Remember, as always, you can always put your feet down with this. I'm going to teach it with feet up today. Fingers interlaced, hands at the base of your skull, elbow to knee, knees up, feet active, elbows point skyward. Inhale, lift your head and shoulders up as you press your lower back down. Hold your breath, curl your tailbone slightly. So I want you to feel your lower abdomen turn on. As you exhale, take both elbows to your left knee and extend your right leg forward. Spread your right toes, belly draws down. Inhale back to center, head stays up. Keep lifting your shoulders away from the floor. Hold your breath, press your lower back into the mat. As you exhale, elbows to right knee, take your left leg forward. Make sure your right knee is not too close to your chest. Lower belly pulls in. Inhale back to center, head stays up. Hold your breath, low back down. Exhale, elbows to left knee, take your right leg forward. Spread toes, press through heel this time as your belly draws in. Inhale back to center, head stays up. Keep pressing your lower back into the mat. As you exhale, elbows to right knee, take your left leg forward, navel draws down. Jaw relaxed. Inhale back to center, head stays up. Hold your breath, press lower back down. Exhale, elbows to left knee, right leg forward, lower belly draws in. Inhale back to center, head stays up. Hold your breath, low back down. Exhale, elbows, right knee, left leg forward, lower belly draws in. Inhale, back to center, keep going. So working again at your own pace here. What I want you to feel for is that point of resistance where we start to get like a bit edgy. It's like, oh my God, I need to put my feet down or oh my God, when is this gonna end or whatever it is that's going on. Welcome it in, but don't listen. See if you can make something different today. So you continue on through that momentary thought of I'm just about done. Simply so we can see what's on the other side because that's the growth, right? Do one more round. Once you've done your one round, inhale, head down, exhale, feet down. Bring the soles of your feet together, take your knees out wide, Baddhakonasana on your back. You can have your arms by your side here, or if you wanna get into the shoulders a little bit, take your arms over your head, hold opposite elbows. 
Take three full, complete breaths into your navel center. So we're using the breath to start to move whatever we've stirred up through abs. You know, we know that a lot of our emotional tendencies reside in this place. It's a little bit of help from the breath to move them on. Alrighty, help your knees together. Take either your roll or your block. Set up for abs with a block or a roll. So you're gonna be down on your back again. Remember always, feet can be on the wall, the floor. I'm gonna work with legs up today. It's that kind of day for me. All right. Flex your toes back towards your kneecaps so your heels point straight up. Fingers interlaced, hands at the base of your skull again. Make sure that your elbows are pointing skyward so you've got a good shoulder wrap happening. Okay. Lower back presses into the mat and stays pressed. Inhale into upper back. Hold your breath, have a little squeeze of the roll so you start to feel your inner thighs turn on. And as you exhale, lift your head and shoulders up. Feel the whole of your lower belly draw down. Inhale, head down. Send your thighs forward a little bit. Hold your breath, squeeze the roll. This time curl your tailbone, but don't let your thighs move towards your chest. As you exhale, lift head and shoulders up. Lower belly draws down. Inhale, head down. Keep lower back pressing into the earth as you hold your breath, little squeeze of the roll. This time, squeeze your sit bones. As you exhale, lift head and shoulders up, elbows skyward, chest skyward, belly draws down. Inhale, head down. Hold your breath. Squeeze the roll, squeeze sit bones. Little curl of the tailbone again, minute curl. As you exhale, lift head and shoulders up, push through your heels. Lower belly draws in. Inhale, head down, hold your breath. Curl tailbone, squeeze the roll, squeeze sit bones. Exhale, head and shoulders up. Send elbows on your chin skyward. Pull your lower belly down. Inhale, head down, hold your breath. Squeeze the roll, squeeze sit bones. Exhale, head and shoulders come up. Send elbows skyward, reach chest skyward, belly draws in. Inhale, head down. Exhale, put your feet down. Take a full feeling breath in there. This time, open your mouth and let your breath out completely. Take your block. If you don't have a block, even just a big buck off something of that kind, we're setting up for bridge with a block. Inhale, lift your pelvis, pop the block underneath your sacrum, lower than the lower back. So you've got a little bit of your butt on there too. Arms by your side, chin tuck, neck long. Before we go into the next part, just feel the opening through the front of your body. You get this sense of using your breath to cleanse out any sticky bits, maybe around the hip flexors, maybe the lower abdomen after all those abs. And then from there, tilt your tailbone a little bit so you feel your butt still working. Tore your right foot in and take your left leg straight up. So we're not collapsing onto the block, remember that. Right heel presses down to support the lower back. Butt cheeks working and upper back lifts away from the floor. Feel the back of your left leg line start to open. And then if there's space today, start to bring the left leg towards your chest. So only as far as you need to go in order to feel the back of your leg beginning to kind of release, but activate too. <laughs> so you're pressing up through your heel. Okay. A big feeling breath now into the side ribs. So hopefully feeling there's a bit more movement there. And then place that left foot down. Make sure the left heel is in line with the left sit bone and inhale the right leg straight up. So it's the same thing. You wanna feel that the upper back is lifting, the front line of the body is expanding. And then the right leg lifts actively. So push through the heel. 
That's the right and the left heel, and then start to bring the right leg in towards the chest. Keep the press through the left heel so you're aware that your lower back is, is not compressed. You want to feel any compression in that place and really feel your left butt cheek work. So one more big breath. Place the right foot down as you breathe out. Lift your pelvis up, keep it lifted, move the block away. Tilt your pubic bone skyward as much as you possibly can, like such a tilt that it's almost over tilted. Keep that as you lower your upper back to the floor. Keep tilting, lower your mid back, keep tilting. Articulate your spine down as you lower your lower back. And then roll over onto one side. Take your strap if you have it. If you don't, don't worry. And come back down. Right leg straight out along the floor. Left leg straight up. Now that might be you today. You can hold the back of your left thigh, your left calf. If you have a strap, put the strap over your foot. Um, your foot. <laughs> if you can hold your foot, by all means go there. Inhale, press through the, the arch of your left foot and your right foot. And then as you exhale, see if you can feel for drawing that leg in a little bit closer. Keep your legs super duper active here. So it's not about just going into flexibility, we want stability too. So feel your toes spread, heels press, big breath in, maybe run your breath through the back of your left leg. And then lower the left leg down and change sides. Bring your right knee in towards your chest. Take your right leg up. So again, it's this, a lot of acceptance around where our hamstrings are at this morning. We do all sorts of crazy things just to try and get our leg closer towards the chest, which just is mad. It's like insanity. But just being where we are with our leg is enough. So inhale, press through both heels. Chin stays tucked and then draw the leg in just to your capacity today. Just be aware of like those thoughts that sneak in. It's like, oh my God, I'm so inflexible. I can't get my leg to my blah, blah, blah. It's like, it's just put them down. It's not helpful. Release. Roll over onto one side. Come on to your hands and knees. Turbo dog. What an exciting morning this is. All right, hands are underneath your shoulders. Walk your hands forward six inches. Take an inhale. Bend your elbows down to the earth as you exhale. So they're about halfway and then hug them into the midline. Imagine you've got a block in between your arms that you don't want to drop. Keep pressing through your palms. Take another breath in. And then tuck your toes and straighten your legs. Watch that your arms don't straighten as you straighten your legs. You want to make sure you're still bending through the elbows and then relax the back of your head. Feel here for even support through your legs. So you, you don't need to straighten your legs. You can keep your knees bent. But just the awareness of being equally in the back of your body as you are in the front so the intensity doesn't concentrate into the upper body. We want to feel this through the whole of our body. Okay. Take one more big feeling breath in through the lower back this time as you lengthen your sit bones skyward. Stay for a full complete exhale. And then lower your knees. Come on up to standing. Sons, alternating with B's today. If I'm going too quick or too slow, go to your pace. All right. Top of the mat, feet are either hip width or closer together. Inhale, arms straight up. Forward fold, exhale. Halfway lift, inhale, flat back. Step to plank, lower all the way. Come into a cobra inhale. Upper back working. 
Downward facing dog as you exhale. Full feeling breath through the spine here, lengthen. Step to the top of the mat as you breathe out. Fold fully. Bring your hands to your shins, take an inhale halfway. Forward fold as you exhale. Press through your legs, come all the way up, inhale. Get length through your spine, but pull your front ribs in. Hands to heart. Exhale. Inhale, arms up. Forward fold. Exhale. Left leg back for lunge. Knee down. Come up as you inhale. Plant palms. Step back to plank. Modify. Lower all the way on your exhale. Cool breath. Make sure your elbows stay bent here. Thighs engage. Downward facing dog as you exhale. Left leg for lunge. Inhale, big breath. Plant your palms, step forwards, fold, exhale. Lift the inner arches of your feet, come up as you inhale. Hands to heart, exhale. Chair, inhale, big breath. Try and get your knees over your heels here. Forward fold, exhale. Halfway lift, keep your chin tucked, back of your neck long. Plank, lower as you exhale. Cobra, maybe come a little higher this time, but keep your elbows bent. Downward facing dog as you exhale. Warrior one, inhale, left foot forward. Come all the way up. So feel back leg working. Plank. Modify or not, but lower as you exhale. Come into cobra. Inhale, big breath. Navel to spine. Down dog as you exhale. So keep your core engaged. Right foot, warrior one. Inhale, big breath. Plank. Lower as you exhale. Cobra, inhale, huge breath in. Downward facing dog as you exhale. Take a full feeling breath through the back of your body here. Let the back of your head go. Halfway through your exhale, step forward and fold. Halfway lift, inhale, flat back. Fold again as you exhale. Chair pause, inhale, huge breath, feel your chest lift. Straighten your legs, hands to heart, exhale. Inhale, arms skyward, ribs draw in. Forward fold, exhale. Step the right leg back for lunge, inhale. Plank. Modify knees down as you exhale. Cool breath. Feel your butt working. Like reach your sit bones towards your heels. Navel to spine, down dog as you exhale. Right foot forward, back knee down, lunge, come all the way up. Plant your palms, step forward, fold fully on your exhale. Press through your legs, but feel your whole back line engage as you come up on an inhale. Hands to heart over your exhale. We go again, inhale, chair. Exhale, fold. Halfway lift, inhale, flat back. Feel your chest move forward, plank. Straight line to lower as you exhale. Cold breath. Inhale, big breath. Downward facing dog as you breathe out. Left foot, warrior one. Inhale, big breath in. Plank. 
full exhale as you lower. Keep exhaling all the way down. Come up to cobra, inhale, big breath. Downward facing dog, exhale. Right foot, warrior one, huge breath in. Plank, full exhale. Cobra, feel your thighs work. Navel to spine, ribs draw in. Down dog on your exhale. Inhale, feel your side ribs, your back ribs expand. Halfway through exhale, step forward and fold. Halfway lift, inhale, send your sit bones back. Fold again as you exhale. Chair, inhale, big breath. Straighten your legs, hands to heart as you exhale. Come back into chair, inhale. Fold forward, exhale. Halfway lift, inhale, flat back. Step back to plank, lower, exhale. Cobra, feel how much more open you are through your chest. Downward facing dog, exhale. Warrior two with kite hawk. Inhale, step your left foot forward. Come up to warrior two legs. Feel your arms relax by your side for a moment. Press through back leg, front leg even. Then take your arms out with your thumbs upward facing. As you inhale, lift your collarbone, start to roll your thumbs back so you're externally rotating your arms. And as you exhale, lift your shoulders up to your ears and roll your thumbs in, spreading through the upper part of your back. So go again, inhale, chest lifts, thumbs roll back, heart open. Exhale, shoulders lift, thumbs roll in. So the whole of your upper back broadens. Keep going. And start to feel for this sense of moving with your own breath, like the length of your inhale and your exhale, and the pace at what it needs for you to be able to feel this. Okay. Keep your legs the same. Come back, release your arms. Pause a moment there. Reverse, inhale, reach both arms straight up. Keep pressing through your left heel as you take both arms back. Pause when you can't go any further without collapsing through your ribs. Place your right hand down, reverse warrior. So it'll feel like you're lifting up a lot more than you usually do here. The idea is that we're extending through the right side of the ribs as much as the left. And this, it helps us to engage the core, like the internal part of the body. Okay. Once you're active, feel for areas where you can soften. And then using your left arm, bring your body up easy, easy. Extended warrior half bind, left forearm, left thigh, right arm behind. Definitely the left arm is active, but try not to over activate it. We just wanna use it so we're lifting up enough to feel like the left side of the body is not collapsing. And then start to feel this sense of rolling your left rib skyward. And then accepting the quality of this pose like for all that it is, rather than trying to change it, escape it, make it different. Just feel into what is here. Sometimes we make a really big deal out of these poses and they're just not. You get this like really dramatic, like 
over exaggerating thing going on and it just causes suffering it's like we're just here feeling our butt legs are shaking that's it <laughs> you know take one more feeling breath in release plant your palms to the floor step back to plank lower all the way do exhale cobra big breath in feel like your body's starting to loosen navel to spine press down dog as you exhale kite hawk inhale step your right foot forward come up into warrior two legs do you know where we're going now start to feel for this fluid movement through your arms as you embody what it means to be kite hawk like it's a bird it's free it's not rigid in the way that it moves and then let your breath be the guiding force let this quality of freedom and sense of fluidity through the upper body Alrighty, from there, come back. Just relax your arms for a moment. Give yourself an opportunity to reconnect to your legs. And then set up for reverse. The inhale arms come straight up. You can hold your breath. Let that be the guide as you go back. And then exhale, left hand to the thigh, right arm over. Sense this front thigh is moving forward. Don't push it though. Just get a sense of it tracking towards the top of your mat. almost connecting here to this idea that our body is more than what we can see right so this is an energy that draws that front thigh forward it doesn't need to come from us necessarily and then from there bring your right forearm to right thigh extended Warrior half bind. Spit out through your toes here. Just give them a little bit of freedom across the mat. And then again, yes, you are lifting your, your body off your front leg, but not in a way that's aggressive. It's just enough to feel for lift. Once you've got that, relax. So you want to embody that sense of strength and softness at the same time. Even though we're in some level of intensity, can we soften somewhere too, like internally? Release. Step back to down dog only. Take a breath in here. Let your breathing yourself into the center of your mat. And let your exhale be an expansion out. Warrior one with eagle arms. Inhale, step your left foot forward. Come into warrior one legs. Back heel can be up or down. Take your arms out, palms upward facing. Inhale. Right arm under left. If the bind is not available, you can bring your forearms together and press forearms to the midline. Keep tracking your left thigh forward. Little squeeze of your arms wherever you are. And then just lightly feel for lifting. So you don't, it doesn't need to be a huge amount. Just enough to feel for space through the upper part of your body. Again, that sense of softening in the intensity. Like not trying to make it anything other than what it is. And from there, release. Keep your legs the same. Put your left hand on your left thigh. Inhale your right arm straight up. Twist as you exhale, twisting warrior. Little fist with your right hand, left hand goes on top. 
Lengthen the crown of your head forward a little. And then use your fist to twist your chest to your left as you exhale. Again, this sense of feeling supported through the legs for sure. But then this real lightness, like what is the, the quality of acceptance? What's the energy? For me, it's a really like, okay, here we are. There's no charge to acceptance. It's not a charged energy. Release. Reset your feet for warrior two legs and then come up as you inhale. So it's a bit of a clunky move. Okay, left hand goes inside or outside of your left foot. You can have your hand on a block. I like that. Gives me more space. Also helps me lower my left hip down a little more and then exhale right arm overhead. So again, we're just back to that thing of lengthening through both sides. Back thigh is engaged. Right side of the neck relaxed. And sense of feeling for spreading through the toes. So I like to feel into what my bones are doing. That way I find it easier to relax the muscles that don't need to work. So maybe get a sense here of your skeleton. And then from there, release, step back to plank. Lower all the way as you exhale. Cobra, huge breath in. Feel your upper back working. Downward facing dog as you breathe out. Warrior one with eagle arms. Come up as you inhale. Take your arms out. Bind as you exhale, left arm under right, or forearms pressed together. The beautiful thing about these double-sided poses is we get to experience that now with a little bit less of the resistance that comes in the first side. So now we've got through that first layer, feel what's here. Twisting warrior, put your right hand on your right thigh, inhale, left arm up, get long, 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 exhale, twist. Remember you can do this with your back heel up also. If you need to modify back knee, you can always go down. Relax your feet. Inhale as you lengthen the crown of your head forward and again, your chest twist towards your fist. Nothing else really moves. Keep letting go through your neck. And then release. Reset your feet. Warrior two, come up. Take a block if you need that. Extended warrior, right hand inside or outside, right foot, left arm over. Get that sense again here, guys, of rolling your right ribs up towards the ceiling and lower it. Send your right sit bone towards your left heel. So there's two things going on there. It's like these opposing forces in the body. And letting the left side of your neck go. Big breath through the left side of your body. And then release. Step back to down dog only. Okay, deep feeling breath in here. Full feeling breath out. Warrior two with arch your arms. Inhale, step your left foot forward. Warrior two legs. Take your left arm up. 
Bend that, place it to your upper back. Interlock your fingers if it's there. If it isn't, you can place your right hand on your left elbow. Notice if you are interlocking. If that means you've had to really flare your ribs open, I would suggest choose a different option. This is for the shoulders, it's nothing to do with the abs. Alrighty. Big breath into the left armpit. Send your left elbow straight up like you're lengthening the whole of your upper arm bone. It's like there's a warm sensation that comes into that place for me. But at the same time as you do that, lower your right elbow down. Feel like this sense of opening and contracting through your chest, your upper back. And then release. Warrior two, interlock. Left arm comes under, right arm behind. Now obviously that's an up level. If you want a down level, come into the half bind again. Feel if you're in the full bind, bind at your knee joint. Left ribs rotate skyward, but no struggle. Okay, when it's not about forcing ourselves into this just because we can. Okay, we want to be comfortable here. We've all got different levels of comfort, but know what yours is, honestly and then commit to staying. Those of you guys in the full bind, you're coming into easy bird of paradise. Everybody else, you're standing balancing twist. Step to the top of the mat, keep your right foot on the floor and bring your left knee into your chest. You can hold like this, no worries. You wanna go a little deeper, keep your right hand on your left shin and take your left arm back. If you want to go even further, press through your left heel. Whatever version you're in, bird or standing balancing twist, press through the standing leg, the right leg, to lift up. And then my standing twist people, twist to your left a little bit. Release, bring everything in, step back to plank. Lower as you exhale. Cobra, reach your legs back, get long through your spine. Downward facing dog as you breathe out. Right foot, warrior two. Arch your arms, right arm up, inhale, bend your right elbow. Interlock if it's there. Otherwise, left hand, right elbow. Feel like you're lifting your, your low ribs away from your pelvis, your mid ribs away from your low ribs, upper ribs away from mid ribs, but pull your front ribs in. Again, you trace in your right elbow skyward, left elbow down, and slight rolling open of your left shoulder. Warrior interlock, release your arms, come into the bind or half bind, whatever you've got to do. Also, one side might be a full bind, one side a half bind. So know that's available too. And then start to roll your left rib skyward, let the left side of your neck go. Keep rolling your left shoulder head back. And then again, get this sense of the structure of your leg bones really working to support as the areas of your internal organs relax.
And then coming on to easy bird or standing balancing twist. I'm going to demo the twist. So left leg on the floor, right knee into chest. You can keep your left hand on your right shin, take your right arm back. And then if you want to go deeper, heel moves forward and twist to your right. So twist people. See what's going on with your left toes. See if you can relax that foot a little. Then inhale to lift up and start to twist your chest to your right as you exhale. And then slowly release. Step back to downward facing dog only. Down dog. Full feeling breath in here. Exhale everything out. Head to ankle prep. Inhale, step your left foot forward. Warrior two legs. Remember you can use a block here. Left hand to left thigh. Right hand is close to your right foot on the floor or a block. And then from there, move your chest down towards the floor. Take an inhale into your left hip. Send your left thigh bone forward as you exhale, let your chest move down. So you're starting to traction for space in the left hip joint. You probably feel a little lengthening through the inner right thigh. Give your toes a spread. And then come back to your breath. So can you feel now this, there's so much more space in your body, you can uptake more of the inhale. And there's a willingness to really let go in the exhale, right? It's just like, okay, I can just let go of whatever needs to move out on the breath. Okay, stay here. Release your hands to the floor and then start to walk your hands through your legs. So your, your front knee is still bent. It's head to ankle with the hands through. Fingertips face away from your body. Legs will definitely be quivering now. This is a really good teacher for what we accept as <laughs> just what we accept. <laughs> so notice the mind, the mind will make up a million things here. It's so good at doing that. If we practice just not buying into those things that it's making and just remain here still. And then release. It's a really good pause to research how your mind works, that one. Pigeon. Walk your hands to the top of the mat. Rearrange your legs. Tuck your right toes under, reach your right leg back. And then come forward as you breathe out. Have your front toes spread. So just let this pause be a part of taking what's just occurred in the previous pauses. A, part, a moment to reflect actually on what was your reaction, like where did you go? Like for me, for example, mine was always, I need to get out of here and I need to get out now. It's like a panic. And just through like, honestly, years of not panicking and not leaving that pause, it's taught me eventually that I, it's okay to stay. But we've all got different things. Just get to know what yours are. Big breath into left hip joint. Like feel your breath, really see your breath go there. Exhale out. And release, step back to plank. Lower as you exhale. Cobra, big breath. Make sure your upper back is working here. Shoulders squeeze. Downward facing dog as you breathe out. Okay, 
we get to do that all again. Right foot forward, warrior two, head to ankle prep. Left hand can be on the floor, right hand is on your inner thigh. Your fingertips point towards your right knee. Chest down, back of your head relaxed. Inhale into your right hip joint. Track your right thigh forward. Feel this sense of ungripping through the back of your jaw and just generally the skin around your face, like cheekbones, eyes, forehead. And then moving into the next part, hands walk through, legs stay exactly as they are, just the hands that change. So we get a game, we get another opportunity on this side to look at how we, where we go in these places. Like, do we blame? Do we get frustrated? Like, what is it without judgment? And then recognize that habitual tendency and choose a different way. It's really that, it's that simple. So even though your legs are probably burning, your mind might be racing, just continue to breathe and stay. Release. Pitch. Oh my God, thank God. <laughs> I'd love to say it gets easier, but that's just not my experience. Left toes took, reach your left leg back, come up, inhale. Walk yourself forward as you exhale. Like we're constantly getting layers put on us throughout our daily life. So when we come to the mat, there's always going to be work to do. There's just no, no end point really. But let this pause again. Just, just use it as an, as an integration. From there, press back, downward facing dog. Maybe give your legs a little walk out there if you feel the need. And then we're gonna come into our apex, which is head to ankle. I'm sure you guys would have guessed that already. So options, you can do right foot forward, back knee underneath your hip. Try not to come into a lunge like this. You wanna keep your hips high and then you're just simply bringing your head down towards your ankle. The second option then is to start to bring your leg up, head down towards your ankle. If you can, working your head underneath your ankle. But again, it's just working with what you've got available today. So accepting, all right? Let's go. We'll start with the left foot forward. Even it sometimes helps me to go up in stages. So I'll start in the bottom and then work up. So back knee under hip. You've got your left foot forward, head down towards left ankle. Maybe that's enough today. Maybe you can take your left arm underneath your left leg. And then obviously if you want to go up a little bit, make sure if you straighten in your back leg that your heel is down, like in a warrior one position, you don't have your heel lifted here. Totally different pose. The head behind your ankle if that's there, which it definitely isn't for me at the moment. Again, it's just that place. It's like it's find that spot in your body where you're, it's challenging you. It's not super easy, but it's not to the point where you're like really not okay. This is about learning like our own kind of limitations as well. Take two more breaths here. And then release, come out. Just come to kneeling for a moment. Pause there before we go to the other side. 
just let yourself take that energy in it's a pretty charged energy <sighs> And then let's go to the other side, fun and games. So high lunge is where I would start, head towards the ankle there. And then if it feels like there's room, you keep going. That leg straightens. Remember the heel is down, really important that part. Get curious, get really curious about where you hold the tension, where you feel this the most. It's just another bit of information about our habits. Where we grip and clench, resist. Two more breaths. And release. Come back to kneeling. Let yourself feel that again. Come down onto your back. Set up for back release. I want you to take your right ankle over your left thigh. Reach your hands through, grab either your left thigh or your left shin. Flex your right toes back towards your kneecap so you do have a little bit of activation through the right leg. Chin tucks here. So try and keep the back of your neck long. I'm just gonna pause here for a few breaths. So I'm not going to do the active version today, I just want to use this as a bit more of a release instead. But if you feel like you want to activate, you can always, you can always do that. See if you can just use this to let the dust settle so everything starts to like calm down. Steady breath. From there, keep your right ankle where it is, but just put your left foot on the floor. And we're going to start to take the, the right foot over to the left. So we're coming into like a bit of a twist. So the outer edge of your left thigh will be on the floor and your right foot will be on the floor. So a couple of things you can do here. You can take a hold of your right ankle with your left hand and start to just stabilize the leg there. That's one option. The other option is to use your left arm like a kickstand. So you've got your left elbow on the floor and your left fingers are on your inner right knee. Okay, and just a few breaths there into that outer right hip, outer right leg line. Alrighty, and then bringing everything back, release that right foot down, recenter your pelvis if you need that, and change sides, left ankle over right thigh. Okay, so you're either grabbing the shin, the back of the thigh, left toes flex back a little, chin is tucked, neck is long. Stay engaged with your breath. Like use it now, like what often happens is we get to this point in the practice and we just abandon the breath. Like not even realizing. So this is the point where your body's most open. So I encourage you guys to breathe mostly here. Get your breath into all those nooks and crannies. All right, and then 
and taking your left foot over to the right. So you can hold left ankle with your right hand or you can do a little kickstand. Just a few breaths here. Noticing the mind wanting to make this more complicated than it is. And just keep bringing that awareness back to the quality and texture of your breath. And then release, come all the way back. Roll over onto one side, coming up to sitting. So if you do have your roll, we're gonna come into frog belly down. So you've got your roll, awesome. You can also have a roll on top of a block like that. Okay. If you've got nine, I wouldn't just use a block. If you've only got a block, I'd suggest um, just freestyle. So take your knees out wide, shins are parallel to the outer edge of the mat. I personally just like the roll, the block's a bit too high for me. Um, but remember with the roll, you just want it on the soft tissue of your belly. So usually I just give my hips a little bit of a wiggle because I feel like that just massages any like, initial bits of tension in the belly and then coming all the way down. Or you can be up on your forearms, that's fine. Just remember it is active, so we do want to keep the feet toes spread. And then we use the breath as like a massage. So, so we inhale, we balloon the, bre the belly out into the roll, like we expand. And then on the out breath, let the roll come in like it's just another layer. Again, that real now drawing in like you're closing down. Wherever you've expanded, you're drawing it into center. Drawing in the breath. Drawing in our energy. there so that's a slowly release so I like to just come forward take the legs behind and have a moment there but that might not work for you so you just let your body rest on the earth in some way and then from there making your way down. Come onto your back, take your feet to the outer edges of the mat and let your knees knock into the midline. You can have your hands resting on your belly here. Tuck your chin so the back of your neck is long. And then let your spine rest into the mat. Just work with a little bit of down regulating breath just to prepare for Shavasana. So let's take a breath in together. And a full breath out. And inhale for four, two, three, four. Exhale, eight, two, three, four five, six, seven, eight. Inhale, four, two, three, four. Exhale, eight, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Inhale, four, two, three, four. 
three, four, exhale, eight, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Listen for the change. Inhale, four, two, three, four, exhale, eight, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Hold your breath out for two. Inhale, four, two, three, four, exhale, eight, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Hold your breath out for two. And do one more round. From there you can stay here if that's comfortable. You can extend your legs out into Shavasana as you take your ankles to the outer edges of the mat. And walk your shoulders away from your ears, arms by your side, maybe hands on your belly. And at this point now accepting and allowing all the gifts of that practice. Just Trust in the process of Shavasana. If you need longer here, by all means, stay. Otherwise, connect back to your breath. Bring your legs together as you reach your arms over your head. Take a full body stretch. Feel maybe your back arch a little bit as you lift your ribs. Point your toes. And then from there, making your way to one side. Pause in there. And then helping yourself up to seated. As you come either to kneeling or cross-legged, just what works. And from there, as you inhale, take your arms all the way up, like you're gathering all of your energy in. And as you exhale, just bring your hands like you're lowering your energy all the way back into your body, all the way down to your navel. Let's do two more like that. So arms up, reach, gather. It's bringing everything in. And then palms down as you lower the energy down. Let's do one more. Inhale together. Bring everything in. Take in more. 
Take in everything you need and then lower your hands down. This time as you lower, bring your palms to your navel center. Feel all what you've gathered moving into your body. As it works its way around your internal organs, through your bones, your skin. And then from that place of fullness, we get to go out into the world and share that with the people in our lives. Okay, that's what it's all for. So bring your hands to heart, take a deep breath in. Full breath out. Namaste.